right and then your share of market what do you think how much share you can achieve keeping in mind your competition not only your existing competition here you are thinking about your future competition also and when do you think is likely going to be coming if you think the competition will come in one year two years three years four years five years it depends on the barrier to the entry for example like hotels okay if i build a hotel today to build another hotel will take 3 years easy right so entry barrier to entry is very high for hospitality because we need infrastructure but services no problem tomorrow you can start the business correct especially when it doesn't require a license correct so they can they can attend one of your session and next day you have a competitor correct they can this can happen right so or other farmers who you have already served they become expert already now they can do the same thing for other farmers no problem they can so you actually are creating in the process of creating your own competitors correct so that's why normally you don't teach the uh, tricks <laughs> okay so how do we size the market so you have seen the different sizing right but uh, how do we do that so basically what you do is uh, is a top down approach first we do the research statistical data and then we make reasonable assumptions for addressable market assumptions include your willingness to pay try new solutions or get the survey and then segment the market based on the specific criteria and then make the target market to achieve uh, by marketing activity how much we think we can address in our marketing activities so that is the top down approach from from the bigger the biggest market down to the target market or you can do a bottom up you start from how much you need how many potential customer you need actually to make money or to break even and then you work upwards how much should be your addressable market minimum based on the conversion that's why i asked her yesterday how much is the conversion ratio if you achieve 10 farmers how many of them will take your project if you say out of 10 one will take and you want to take six project means you want to achieve 60 sales visit minimum in a month for that you need to think how many people do i need and how i'm going to contact them where i'm going to get them correct so that depends so that will bring up so that when during this uh, customer pain points actually will help you to think through the entire business model right at the beginning Mm. Different customer segments. Mm. So maybe food processor, maybe a farmer, maybe a greenhouse, mm. uh, a food dyer, a producer, all the other houses. All these are different markets. So in that case, like uh, in that case, uh, we have to uh, we can also find more use cases. All their market, uh, potential customers mm. in each segment. So means you need to actually uh, brainstorm now. what are the potential use cases you can have who who potentially who can use your product and services and then you try to find out how many people are there in the market who are who can potentially be using your product and services so if let's say you have done one bee house so there are how many other suppliers are there in the market who can, who are having a bee house so those is your extra market right so those once you have already done the use case for one bee house then you can always go back to the other bee houses and say okay we have done this use case do you want to follow it or not so that is your addressable market and plus other who else what else who else can use your one that who, who have not yet used your product can there be anybody else maybe there are right there are many other use possible use cases so maybe you have to think about it first who else can use my product and services and then you down you upgrade your say okay what is the total potential market size that i can able i'm able to serve 
that will give you a very uh, clean and reliable data what is the potential market size see when next week we are doing the valuation that is the very very important data market size is will define your value if you are able to tell your potential investor that you can attract 100000 people based on some basis that becomes your market if you say i am going to i can attract 10 million people that's another value because value is always based on future returns correct right? so you need to say you need to think uh, open mindedly not directly at this point of time maybe a slight variation in your existing product can i address another another market or not just a slight variation or maybe a uh, upgrades to the existing product because you need to think not only today your future version 2 version 3 version 4 who else i can target can i make anything else better so that becomes your potential market and you have a reliable number to show the investors okay this is what i can achieve practically for after that you still then you have a overall number that you can print potentially achieve in less than next 5 year 10 year down the line now you have a chance to say okay now next 3 years how what i can achieve first and what do i need for that correct that becomes your basis of your budgeting then you define okay what do i need marketing equipment peoples trainings or the awareness support from government support from the other peoples what else i need to address this market size correct 